The shirt came out super dope, super dope, because the grind don't stop, man. going on family welcome back to god driven tv with your boy LaShawn taylor today i'm excited for this video as you've seen on my channel before at least you should have seen on my channel before i've done a diy how to make your own nike shirt and i thought i might as well bring it back so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get straight into this video now all right y'all so first things first we're going straight to our app fonto i'll go ahead and get a plain image I'll make it white. That sizing is just fine. Use. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to images. I already have a Nike logo in my images, transparent too. So I got that. I'm gonna just make it a little bigger and move it to the middle of the screen. I may or may not size it down, just depending on the words. All right, then I'm gonna go, then I'm gonna hit the screen and hit add text. So for this one, I'm going to use the word grind. Cause yo, we out here grinding. We ain't playing no games. I'm gonna hit style and change the font to black. I'm gonna size it up just a little more so I can continue editing it. And then uh, for the font, I'm gonna go ahead and go with Futura Condensed Extra Bold. I'm going to size it up just a little bit more and I'm going to click it again. I'm going to go to style, hit style again, and then I'm going to make the spacing, bring it in a little more because if you look at the Nike word, the, night, the uh, letters are pretty close together. All right, I'm going to use just like that, then I'm going to go ahead and hit the word again, scroll over and go to 3D. And we're gonna make sure that we get this angled the way that we want it. And the Nike word is kinda like at a slant, like that. All right, and I'm actually liking the way this looks. All right, so I'm gonna hit done. So then I'm gonna go ahead and add text again. And we're just gonna go ahead and say the same words that Nike does just do it because we just doing it out here baby just do it of course these these words are a lot smaller than the Nike symbol so we'll make them smaller I'm gonna make sure that they're in the middle just like that and I'm gonna do the same thing with these words, I'm going to click on it, go to style, go to spacing, and just bring the letters in closer. Just like that. Make sure it's in the middle. And I can actually make the, the, the words slightly smaller. Because they're not that big on the logo. Yep, so I'm going to have it just like that. And I actually love the way that looks. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is save this save image save successfully from there I'm gonna go to Safari because I don't want this image to just be plain Nike does a lot of collaborations with designer brands and, and they actually come out dope so I was thinking we can do like a LV inspired Nike design so I'm gonna get an LV background just like that. That brown is brown and gold is pretty dope. So I'm gonna save this background. Add the photos, and then we're going to the, the Cricut Design Space app. I'm gonna hit hit the plus, and I'm gonna go ahead and add both designs that I just did. Well, the design and the wallpaper. All right. And we're going to get out the background. Just like this. Make sure you get inside of the letters as well. All 
All right, and this should be good right here. We'll hit apply. Now this is going to be a print then cut design. So I'll hit print then cut. I'll type in grind and done. All right, now we'll go ahead and upload our LV background we just got. We don't, of course, we don't have to take out the background for this, so we'll hit apply and print and cut for that. And then LV. Now we'll go ahead and head into our Cricut design space on our laptop just to make things easier. So this is a print and cut image. And the one thing that I hate is that they have not extended the sizing we can do for print and cut images. That's, that's, that, that sucks so much. I, I, it really does suck. So we got to size this down just a little bit with these print and cut images. The width has to be less than, I want to say 9.25 and the height has to be less than 6.75, I believe. All right, so here's a really neat trick that we're gonna go ahead and do. And that is using our slice tool. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is place our wallpaper over the design, just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and highlight both items like that. And in the, in the corner, you'll see this little slice tool. Probably didn't even know what it did, but I'm about to show you. You'll click the slice. It's going to do its magic real quick. And now you got, you got an outline of the object. So now all you'll do is take that wallpaper you just had, move it, and that wallpaper just combined for the logo you just made. All right, so we'll go ahead and hit delete. And now we'll go ahead and make our design. We're using the print and cut one, this one right here. Today I'll be using 3G Jet Opaque Heat Transfer Paper, and that's the dark sheets. So with the dark sheets, you do not have to mirror, so you just wanna make sure you don't have this clicked. You'll hit continue. Today I'm using the Epson WF7710. I'm gonna make sure that the bleed is still on because I wanna make sure my cut is accurate. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get our paper into our printer and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the print button. So this is the paper we'll be using. And as you can see, it has uh, like a checkerboard and the name of the brand on the back side. So how we'll do it is take my regular paper out of the printer. We'll make sure our heat transfer paper is placed inside the printer with the words and the checkerboard facing up so that you're seeing it and the other side face down because that's the side that you're printing on. And for this, I'll go ahead and hit high quality plain paper for the paper type and I'll go ahead and get this printed out. All right. For the material you want your Cricut machine to be set as, you want to have it set to printable iron on dark because that's the paper that you'll be using. And now I'm going to go ahead and get the paper placed on our mat and cut out. All right, so when you're placing your paper on the mat, you want to make sure that it's placed the same way that it looks on your Cricut Design Space. You'll want to make sure that it's lined up at the corner and that the paper is going vertically because this is exactly how it looks on the Cricut Design Space. All right, and after you get it on your mat, you're going to go ahead and place it in your machine and get it cut out.
All right, so now that we got our cut cut out, we gotta get it out our machine. And we're gonna get straight to weeding it out. I'm gonna go at the edge of the word. And just try to get a part just like that. That's how we'll weed it up. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and take our transfer mask and line it up and get our transfer off of the paper. So we're gonna make sure that it's all inside of our uh, design. Make sure it's lined up. And you wanna press down so that way it can transfer onto this mask easily. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and take it the paper off of the mat. Now what we'll do is we'll turn it backwards and just peel the paper off just like that. Just like that. And here we have our design. Alright, so to make sure our design is in the middle what we're gonna do is the one hack that really works a ton. We're gonna make sure our shirt is lined up in half and we're gonna create a line going down the middle of the shirt. So we'll take our easy press and just go down the shirt and create that line. Just like that. And now that we have our line coming down the middle, we'll take our transfer and just line it up accordingly, just like that. You'll use that line as a reference to make sure that it is directly in the middle. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this pressed. So I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna go ahead and put my Teflon sheet over the transfer. I got my easy press set to 350 degrees at 30 seconds. We're gonna make sure I give it maximum pressure so that way the transfer stays on the shirt. All right, now that it's done, it does require a cold peel, so we're just gonna wait a couple minutes for it to cool down and then I'll go ahead and show you the final look. family thank you for tuning into this video yo the shirt came out super dope super dope because the grind don't stop man thank you for tuning in this video don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that bell notification so that you're notified when i drop new bangers for you guys and yo keep applying pressure to life because life has no boundaries until next video we out Jersey.